Well, Peter Kinane, the uh, reigning European and world champion, starts this for Belgium. Stephen Osborne for Great Britain, the former world champion Navarro Sanchez and Tony Beesman in the reigning Paralympic champion. Here is Tony Biesmanen. Most recent titles he won were in the Europeans in Swansea in 2014. He's the reigning champion from London 2012. He's based in Helsinki. His club based in Espoo on the outskirts. Home of the Angry Birds. Other aviatic games are available. Peter Genin of uh, Belgium, formerly a wheelchair rugby international, who crossed over to athletics a couple of years ago and he's won medals at every major championship since. An elder Mestre of uh, Portugal from Lisbon. Best result fifth at the Europeans in the 100 and 400 this year in Grosseta. Strong field, uh, they are the, as we say, the most impaired, so it takes a while for them to get going. Longest championship distance for them, therefore, tends to be the 400 meters. So let's go through the field. Six times Paralympic champion in athletics and once in swimming for Italy. Alvisa Davidi, most uh, successful athletics Paralympics for him. Sydney 2000, one gold in the eight, the 15 and the marathon. For Algeria in lane three, gold in the discus in London 2012. Bronze in the one, similar in Lyon in 2013 for Algeria, Mohamed Becquerel. Lane four for Belgium, the reigning European and world champion from Belgium, Peter Kenny, champion in the one and the four. For Great Britain, bronze in the one at the Europeans in Grisetta and in Swansea two years earlier. For Dartford Harriet, Stephen Osborne, lane six, the former world champion over one and two, Christchurch in 2011. And gold in the two, and Leon in 2013, Edgar Navarro of Mexico. Lane seven for Portugal, fifth in the European final, and the one in the four, Helder Mestre. And the reigning Paralympic champion from Helsinki in Finland, Tony Biesbunen. European golds in the one in the four in Swansea 2014, and gold in the worlds in Leon in between. So it's a good field, I expect this to be quite tight, really. Peacemanen looking to get a successful defence of his Paralympic crown. Davidi in two, Barral three, Genin four, Osman five, Navarro Sanchez six, Mestre seven, Peacemanen in eight. The final of the men's 100 metres, T51. And away very quickly, and it's Osman to watch in five, and Genin in four, and Peacemanen in eight. Real battle at the moment beginning for Belgium. Becquerel right alongside. Navarro coming up for Mexico. Peaceman is back a bit. Genin's going to get the gold for Belgium. Silver for Becquerel and bronze for Navarro Sanchez with Peaceman in fourth. And it's a new Paralympic record 21.15 for Belgium. It's Peter Genin. Well, he came through well and he breaks Peaceman in's. Paralympic record breaks his Paralympic dominance as well. Peaceman was back a bit. He's outside the medals in fourth. Becquerel, the silver, Navarro, Sanchez, the bronze. But getting once he got going, just had enough over the rest. And as you said in the call, Will, the start from Ginin was the most important. Uh, he really powered and had a real advantage in the first 
few strides on the inside. Baradal gave him a race, but then look at him come away. And you get the impression the longer the race would have gone, the longer Genin would have had the advantage. He was clearly the best on the day. And that was a big win. Algeria with the silver. And then a real scrap for the bronze. And it was Navarro Sanchez with the season's best of 21.96 for the bronze medal. And uh, he's been in from Finland in fourth place. Only uh, a year older than Peter Genin. But uh, has well and truly be been dethroned here. And was beaten a fair way by the gold medalist. So it's Belgium gold, Algeria with the silver Mexico in the bronze medal position. And here is the all-important start. This is the man who's just been pipped out of a bronze piss pan in on the left of screen and now in the middle of your picture. But look at the start that Ganin got. It was clearly the best. And then it was only left to Berahal on his inside to try and go with him. Too good. Yeah, nice margin of victory in the end for him, really, with that Paralympic record 21-15. He knew there was no right, had a look around, see that look to his right. A piece with it. He might not have been aware that he got past him until he had that look. Kenning gets the gold, Becquerel the silver for Algeria. And Navarro Sanchez, the bronze for Mexico with piece with it in fourth place. Quite a margin.